Okay, we have, let's see, 119 people currently watching. Uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the short little off-the-cuff stream earlier, because we're going to have fun here too, don't worry. We're going to get back to our normally scheduled shit. Uh, let's see, what is the chat saying? <coughs> also, uh, guys that are in here, uh, now would be the time to get your drinks or snacks, if you don't have one already. But, um, let's see, uh, Relative says, oh, 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 Spooter. Whatever the fuck that means. Jason Rotana says, hey, Rogue. Well, hello, Jason. Uh, Fancy Colored says, eat a PP Rogue. <laughs> How about you eat mine, fucker? Apparently, I like to talk about my genitals on stream, so come over here and eat my PP, bitch. Fucker. Fuckhead. I hear you guys giggling. Uh, Rustlin, uh, Dragon, no, uh, w w stop burping! Oh, hold on, let me get... <coughs> oh, I tried to puke there, but I didn't get it. Uh, I hope you like that, Rustin. Don't tell me what to do. And it looks like I got a few super chats to read, and then uh, we'll get this shit started. Okay. So we got one coming in from uh, Spyro76 for four ninety nine with no message. Well, that's pretty based. Phil Nerd sent a one for $5 and have some based bucks, brother. Well, fuck, I'll, I'll always take your money, brother. Sora Trash sent in 20 bucks saying, here's 20. Give me your worst. Sora, I have no fucking idea who you are. I have seen your name appear in chat and you give me money and honestly, that's all I need from you. You're just like everybody else in my audience. A stupid, mouth-breathing 12-year-old bastard. I hate my audience. Fuck you and fuck anyone who even looks like you. And Silencer sent in, uh, Silencer7396 sent in $5 with no message. Well, hey, that makes it easy for me. Thanks for the super chats, brothers. All of them much appreciated. But, uh, anyways... I need to I need to go ahead and uh, start doing the thing, don't I? I need to I need to flip the switch. So where is it? Where's that button? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we are. I'm going to go ahead and disable the intro so I don't fuck up and start it again and again and again and again on stream. And uh, let's see, uh, Astrid, can they hear you? Hello? Neat. Uh, Cadenza, Hello. let me pan the camera over to you. Can they hear you? Howdy, degenerates. I think they can. <laughs> and then our guest, uh, our second guest, Pink Parasite, can they hear you? Watermelon, 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 watermelon. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, think, I, I think that gets the message across perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense to me. So, um, it, it's been a while since we had Cadenza on. Why don't you give these people that who, who aren't aware of you, g give them a little plug of what you do before we start oh. this. Okay, um, well, I am Cadenza. I am the alien man. And uh, I kind of I kind of do things in a similar vein uh, a little bit, kind of more obscure locales and stuff. And surprisingly, I'm actually kind of ignorant to a lot of the Christian lore, so... We're going to be going over stuff, like, for the first time. Yeah. And I got to say that uh, I'm still kind of riding high off of your last stream, Rogue. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? That, that was a that was a good time. Yeah, then, uh, yeah. I'm still I'm still pretty pretty happy about my, that. My nipples are still and, hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go to a hospital. Speaking <laughs> of, pink, speaking of uh, uh, hard nipples, Pink, how, how are your nipples doing? Are, are yours erect, too? Because I know mine are. How are your nipples? Can they cut Please. Your ass? Absolutely. Oh, oh that my God. Based. So, uh, give them a little <laughs> plug. Tell them what you do. Go ahead and tell them about your career. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi, chat. Uh, I'm a voice actor and artist for mostly hentai for a career. That's what I do. Oh, um, I also do uh, YouTube on the side just for funsies. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you want to um, tell you've them about... You've probably heard my voice oh. before. Oh, do my you wanna, God. Do you want to tell them about the... Uh, the terrible thing you revealed to me that totally ruined my, my, my favorite my favorite terrible fancy pleasures on the internet. Yes, I oh, can. No. Okay, um, then tell tell them exactly what what the character was. Just don't even don't even outright say it. Just imply what it is. You know, it's some people are gonna pick up on it because it's that that well known. And then do the voice. Let's okay. see if they can. I I don't know if I can. I, I've just drank a bunch of monsters, so my throat's kind of crap. But let oh, me try. Based. You gotta lick it and suck it and make it feel good, you know? Um, Tanzaki-kun, I, I'm very hungry. Um, 
<laughs> my <laughs> brain. <laughs> Bro, okay. Yeah, he, Bro. Uh, he he did that. Bro. The the uh, the what what were they again? A vampire succubus hybrid. You must have vampire. That yeah, exactly. Oh See, there it is. That when that when he revealed that to me, I was pretty fucking upset. I was like, well, it's I I, I, I don't <laughs> think uh, I I don't think I can ever masturbate to that again. That ruined it for me. <laughs> Oh, there I go again talking about what I do with my genitals on stream. Maybe those guys oh, do have something no. against me. Fuck, what will oh, I do? Oh, no, they had a point the whole time. Oh, see, people in the chat recognize it. See, that they know. Yeah. They know. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to give credit to the original, because there's, there's like six different dubs of that. There's mm -hmm. an original uh, artist. I cannot remember her name. I'll Google it in a second. But the, the original voice actress is the only one who ever gets credit. <laughs> And then everybody else who dubs it just that there's no credit. It sucks. Did you at least get paid for it? Oh, I did. I got paid uh, very handsomely. Oh, is is there good money in uh in in making sounds like you're being fucked? Absolutely. Damn, Especially I need if you can collaborate directly <laughs> with your scene you gotta, partner, you gotta, they pay uh, extra for that. your your asset. Wait, like these days, you know, like if you can like. like talk to world? your scene partner and stuff really what yeah like wait do you mean like like in the same room or like well i've never done that because i've always oh, okay. lived, I was like say. really far away but i'm yeah. sure some people do oh my um, god imagine but like if you can Gross. also do the foley like the sounds and stuff you can make really <clears throat> good money it's mostly oh jello i need to start yeah. <laughs> i need to start making sounds like i'm getting fucked in the butt and hopefully people <laughs> give me money Maybe that's just, what just I'll go, do. Just go like, just go like. It's just table slamming and screaming. <laughs> My <laughs> asshole. I don't know if you can hear that sound. No. I we, couldn't. We... I couldn't. Uh, let me try again. Just go like. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh, it's just like Bible. Uh oh. I just yeah, want to hear like glass breaking and screaming. It'd be great. I'll make it more authentic for you, Astrid. Yeah, you, this is what it sounds like when you're in a port city. Uh, and then you get uh, the following uh, sounds. Uh, <laughs> I got the pump. <laughs> I made a bad joke. I'm gonna get ah, my gun fell. Uh, I'm an irresponsible gun uh, owner. Fuck. What? What's up? Oh, oh yeah. god, your, your new papers are like. <laughs> oh fuck them, fuck them. Uh, ah, Maki Kobayashi. That's the original. She's the best. Oh Thanks. my god, I, I just love that. I just She's remember so you telling me something about having a. Uh, a music war with your neighbors. Oh yeah, where I, I would, my 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 neighbors would piss me off, and I would put a Bluetooth speaker outside, and I was I, I'd set up a series of them, and these are big like house ones, like stereo setups, and uh, I would just blue I would connect to it via Bluetooth, and I would be like, hey hey Siri, play Spanish Flea, and, uh, and Siri <laughs> would do it, and then the whole neighborhood would get blessed with such a banger of a track, but particularly my neighbors. And they would, uh, they, they'd fucking come out and, and start yelling at me and, and talk all kinds of shit. It's, a uh, it's, it's that, good. That's no. awful. You're the worst neighbor to have in the world. You don't know me, Asterix. Shut up, you stupid goat bitch. I don't know you. Blah, 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 blah. That's my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> no, if, I, if, I, if I live next to Rogue, I wouldn't call the police on him. I think you, you and I will have a very good time. In a 100% oh, yeah. gay way. Hopefully homosexual. With but a lot speaking, of jello. Speaking oh of homosexuality, yeah, no. we gotta talk about our favorite uh, autistic individual on the internet. Uh, it, it, it's time for the, the quickie reading. So we're gonna start with uh, Chris's room. So you guys have that page pulled up by chance? Yep. 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 That is pretty our pog. individual situation. Uh, individual. I want to talk about Brett Keen at some point. I he totally did. Yeah, there, it's hard to get good stuff on him, but Brett Keen is—he's—he's he's a fascination of mine. He sexually stimulates me. You like that chili? What? Yeah, I like With it when no I, I wish Brett Keen would make the chili eating sounds as he slobbers on my succulent teat. Fingers. I'll oh. let, I, I will oh, eat chili too. with no cheese out of his bum. <laughs> yum oh yum God. yum. But uh, Thank so you, bro. we Torn. start with getting Dorn. So I think we've covered yeah. Chris's room before, but it's been a while. I, I think me and Dylan talked about it, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. And we did his house tour and stuff. So here's a panoramic shot. We've shown it on, on stream before. Let me get a magnifier. But my favorite part of this 
is it always starts on the left with Chris coming into his fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a beautiful panorama, honestly. Yeah, isn't it great? Yeah. He just comes in and like, welcome to my world. And he's got like he's got GameStop on his fucking wall. He's got mm. a shitload of games. Like I'm kind of jealous of how it's categorized. Like at least that's an order. I of dig course, that. He's autistic. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I want to do this. And if I want to get a nice big bookshelf or something and start categorizing my games. Nice. It's, is it's that Bubsy? Is that Bubsy on the on the second or I guess a third down? Like it's know, above where it says Sonic 3D Blast, and then you see Bubsy. Chris yeah, liked that's Bubsy. Bubs. That's fucking awesome. I what other that. games Thank am I going to recognize in there? Well, there's there's Sonic on the Pac-Man. Genesis. On the left is Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, Pac-Man oh. is on the on that Bubsy shelf on the right. Uh, there's also Pac-Man in the center on the shelf on above that. That's about all I can really mm-hmm. recognize. Uh, it's, or, or I, I see some more Sonic. Way, in there too. I like the yeah. Sonic Fighters. <laughs> is Sonic the Fighters, Fighters on there? Where's that? Curtains. Really? Oh, I gotta look. I gotta see that. But then uh, on his door, you have like the Pokemon <laughs> stickers and shit, and then there's more games there. I'm not sure what that is. I, I'm jealous of Chris. This is an absolute. This is a pussy pad here. This is how you get the bitches. <laughs> then there's his shrine to Megan. Um. Where is that? Yeah, you, you see, it's uh, when you see the shelf, you just go a little bit to the right where it's got all the Sonic uh, recolors and shit printed out and put in a uh, lamination paper. Is that her shrine? That's that, fucking gross. Yeah. So interesting thing about this is um, the the one with the skunk, like on the right with the the one in the center, the purple one. That's yeah. something Megan drew, if I remember correctly. Now these are all yeah. characters she made, right but um, they're using poses based off of a uh, a Sonic OC creator that was on Newgrounds. Oh. I believe that was also stenciled from a Sonic Advance art. I think it was Sonic Advance 2 that it was stenciled from. But um, then she would make her OCs in a, in a Sonic OC creator <laughs> on Newgrounds, and then and she'd redraw them. That's that's cool. I like that. She, I feel like she would hold like the paper up to the to the the monitor and you oh, know absolutely. trace it a little bit. I can also see like there are some in there like they're like I'm sorry, uh, Pokemon. There's like an Absol. I think a Suicune. Like she's just. It's the exact same thing. So, but they were kids, you know. That's Sailor but, Moon up there. That is. Are you are you telling me you don't have a shrine to Megan as well? We don't talk about that, Rogue. I feel bad for Megan. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a, Me too. He's got a really she's badass got window unit. And all this. She's she's mm-hmm. innocent. I mean, she's I'm sure she's got her quirks too, but she didn't deserve what Chris did. Yeah. Then uh, then uh, we see his just absolute tried to be his friend. That's the only thing she did wrong. Exactly. Mm-hmm. She, he just he ruined that. Then uh, we see his banger of a fucking of a window unit. I like his his window unit AC. That that really puts it all together for me. Oh, I'm yeah, jealous. Awesome. I wish I had a window unit right next to me. Then we mm-hmm. keep going to the right. We see like some custom made Tie Fighters. Uh, looks like a Yoshi sprite from Super Mario World remade <laughs> out of Lego or beads or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, got a Pokemon poster on the wall. Looks like okay. So uh, where his TV is? Yeah. Some of those. To- I have some of those. I have a no. lot of not not the ones he not not his, but I I have ones no, yeah, just yeah. like it. And I can spot some out some of this of those. Is pretty standard, you know. Yeah, like, like I I can I can spot out ones like the uh where on where the TV is in the upper left the Sonic mm-hmm. Knuckles and uh, Tails. If I remember correctly, those are Sonic Adventure toys specifically made for Sonic Adventure. And the one with uh the Sonic there, that's the one uh, that people were uh, using as a base for the Sonichu dolls. Mm-hmm. That's the one Chris said he could Sorry. paint with acrylic paint. On the mm-hmm. right, um, if you look to the cubby hole on the right, you'll see. If you look closely next to where Robotnik is, right of that, you'll see Mario and mm-hmm. shit like that. That little Mario oh. is from a Mario Kart action figure set, and I've got one of each character, including both variations of Mario, because I, oh I, I, I suppose I'm probably autistic. All things, <laughs> all things considered, I mean, I'm being, I'm able to spot this kind of shit out in a, in a tism den. So there, I must be, uh, I must be on his caliber. Oh lord! You know, I mean, this was this was before the fire, right? This was like oh yeah, way before. Mm-hmm. Oh this, god! You know, and somewhere I feel like nestled under all the. <coughs> Did he I'm dying. All this stuff. Uh, most of it, nestled wow. under all the clutter. There must mm-hmm. be a boyfriend free girl somewhere in there. <laughs> <laughs> she's trapped. She's dead. She's, she's trapped. <laughs> she's suffocated. It's like the Collier mm-hmm. brothers. Like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It really is. Then, um, oh my god! I'll go and start. I'll start the paragraph, and then we'll just kind of alternate and go from there. 
Sure. All right. So, uh, Chris's room is where he has spent a majority of his adult life. It is where he keeps all his toys. So, his sex toys. I bet that goes to sex toys, doesn't it? No, no, it actually goes to toys. Oh, woo. Video oh, games, posters, art, <coughs> and other assorted paraphernalia. And when he's not outside attempting to interact with others, provided the place he's going to hasn't banned him, he's <laughs> usually doing something in his room. Probably, uh, probably drinking his own navy, if I had to uh. guess. And then, uh, so, then it says old room. So, that, that's right. He's no longer in this room anymore. The room he's in now in his current videos, I believe that's, uh, that's Bob's old room, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um, Pink, you want to, you want to read a bit of old room and shop at the, uh, the bullet points? Sure. You want me to do it in the voice? <laughs> I, I do, do it. it read it however oh. you feel. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'm curious. Can you, can you do a Chris Chan voice? Mm. Um, probably. Give it a go. I've never tried. Uh, Chris's bedroom was on the second floor of his his house. <laughs> with two, with it sounds like a confused little boy. <laughs> what? It sounds like a little boy who's lost in a Kmart. <laughs> I, I ask him where his parents are, and he just tells me about how he found worms in the ground. I hid the rock. Where's my mom? Where's my mother? Where's my mother? I used to, when I was younger, I was fascinated with those tanks they have in a, near the uh, deli section in stores where they would have like live lobsters. lobsters. Yes. And uh, yeah. I would always want to go look at them, and then one time I went to go look at it, and I was just two aisles down, and I forgot where my parents were. <laughs> <laughs> and I started Aww. sobbing uncontrollably. Aww. And um, a black woman walked up to me asking me where my parents were, and she called me honey and shit. And because I came from a pretty pretty uh, interesting home life, oh, when no. I was taught a bunch of racial shit, I, I, my, fight, my fight or flight kicked in, and I fucking ran. <laughs> 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 you know, they, they, I, I think I was kind of a racist okay. kid. That's awful. Okay. No. <laughs> she was calling me honey and baby and shit. I was like, oh, bye. Aww. And I ran. And after about 15 minutes of running and sobbing, I, that just hardest I've ever cried, I, I ran into my dad's like, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> and we, <laughs> we picked up where we left off. But, uh, continue? Okay. Yeah. You want me to keep doing the voice? <laughs> you read it, oh, read you? it however you want. All right. I'll Depressed and liked that story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, based on Chris's video tour of his house, his cluttered room was actually the cleanest room in the house. That's sad. Which uh, may explain why so much mm. of his time was spent there. Chris's room, like most bedrooms, also summed up many of his awful habits and traits. Uh, go ahead and read those bullet points. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, his incredible attachment to material possessions, as evidenced by the massive amount of clutter. Ew. His incredible laziness, as evidenced by how much of said clutter was scattered haphazardly on the floor, bed, and couch. In contrast, the careful and orderly arrangement of his video games, DVDs, trading cards, posters, and toys shows that shows how they rank on his list of priorities against things like work, education, human relationships, or personal development. Yay! Mm. <laughs> the... <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> the Megan Shrine, the definite and unquestionable proof of Chris's obsession with the only person that has ever been friendly to him, whom he drove away all on his own. The prevalence of Pokemon, Sonic the Hedgehog, and other franchises. Hi, honey. <laughs> aimed at children. <laughs> People of the same mental and emotional age as Chris. Uh, the majority of his possessions are toys and video games, objects which perform predictably with within his absolute control right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <he's, laughs> he also shows extreme hoarding behavior that is commonly found in the elderly formerly abused children and the autistic oh the stench not visible <laughs> on video or photograph can still be inferred on the many accounts of sweat feces and rotten food left uh, around oh Ugh. Let's put it this way. He once told Ivy that one Airglade freshener wasn't enough. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> and, <laughs> and finally, it, Chris retreated yeah. to his room whenever he felt the slightest bit of stress, refused to discard his de detritus? What, I what don't that? Know. Let's look it up. <laughs> Which word? Let me see. De Detritus. 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 What the fuck? Detritus is that? become human. 
Uh, waste? Or to waste yeah. or debris of any kind. Ew! So what do you think the, the smell was? Like, what would you equate it closest to? Hmm. Probably Kinda like a like, landfill? Like, when you get, like, a fungal infection in your armpit, and it's sweet, oh, but then, no. like... I <laughs> uh, no. Like a like a Smash Brothers convention. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, like like a comic book convention that's gone on for too long. Hell yeah! Right. Mm-hmm. Have oh. you seen the video of the? Oh, there was a people. Smash convention and somebody hid like a dead lobster on one of the players and he didn't notice <laughs> for like an hour. What the fuck? No, and he's like, oh, what this year? They oh, smell just God. as bad. They're so fucking nose blind. That yeah, ew. Oh, exactly. Ew, Gross. Like, I've like okay, so I've only been to a handful of conventions. Is 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 the stench mm-hmm. like? Is that a general thing? Like, is there always a smell at most of these conventions with gamers and shit? Mm, I only in the gaming there room. Wasn't a whole lot. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. Like when where people are like sat down and not moving, and the air is still. <laughs> yeah. But if you're if you're fucking walking around a convention center. Oh. I, I feel yeah. like. You know. Yeah. Were you saying it? <laughs> You're fine, because I've only been to, like, anime conventions. Mm -hmm. I feel like comic conventions and stuff like that are a lot worse. Oh, they are. Because more people show up, Mm -hmm. you know. There's more gaming and stuff going on. Um, I was also, like, 14 or 13. Like, I was a really young kid going to conventions, so, like, I I don't know, but I never had a weird, like, smell going on. Unless I was a sinky one, which... It's probably the That's case. why it, the whole place smelled so <laughs> yeah. fucking bad. That's it's why I didn't no have any fault. friends. That was by their own stench. It's true. I, know. I love being stinky. Comic conventions are always worse. Oh. It's, it's okay to be a dumpster baby. You know what always fucked me up was seeing um, like all the all the barely hidden because there there were there are rooms in conventions. <laughs> Um, specifically for selling merch, of course, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then there are, like, the 18 off sectioned areas that are barely sectioned off and have these, like, like, printed posters of, like, girls with their titties out and, like, here's the doujins! And I'm like, I love being a minor. Um, (laughs) I've been to only one comic convention. Mm. And it was, it was kind of smelly, but not that bad. But I, I did notice something. Typically at comic conventions, you have these, uh, the usually weeb girls that have fit bodies and shit, and they, they cosplay as whatever we, we fucking animu character. And then they, they, because they're that character, all these fat, ugly, smelly Riri's come yep. up and they want to take photos. Like, can I yep. take a photo with you? Yep. That's my waifu. And then these oh, these girls have to be you're, nice. You're dressed as my waifu right now. Yeah. And they, yeah. like they, 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 the girls can't be like, oh, no, you're fucking fat and disgusting like any other time. Because they might uh, get thrown out because they're outnumbered. They're probably lying. They're probably lying. They're not <laughs> they're even outnumbered. a waifu. They're outnumbered by all they They will broke you. Just, oh yeah, yeah, fucking, exactly. And that's, then that's what sucks about you know those big conventions. They care more about money than like anything else. So. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's that gotta kind of suck. Happens. And so you, you got to take photos with them. And if if you're lucky, they're gonna hover hand. You don't have to worry about them putting their disgusting, sticky, stinky arms around you. Yeah. <clears throat> but then they do, and then sometimes they grab your butt or they they cop a feel of the titty. Mm-hmm. That's I, I yeah. got, it, it must fucking suck to not only be a woman, but to be a woman at a fucking gaming <laughs> convention or a, or an anime convention or a comic convention. That's got to fucking suck. You know, you just want to go as whatever conventionally attractive fictional character, and then you're getting basically fucking. You're getting fondled all the time. You're you're in line yeah. to get some Rebel disgusting attacks. to get some disgusting sticky smelly merch, and then some ugly balding douchebag with a Superman shirt comes and smacks you right on the ass. <laughs> Oh yep. my god! Did I just describe the? Did I just describe the experience perfectly? Chat, it, it put one, two, three in the chat if uh, if that's accurate. If you've been to a con, does that seem about right? <laughs> There's only one thing you're missing. Pop jar collection. There's always the like greasy wannabe emo kid that's like way too like just hasn't showered in weeks, and he always comes uh, up to you and goes, "Where's my hug?" I hate the "Where's my <laughs> hug." Yeah. Ugh. Is the "Where's uh, my hug" thing that prevalent? That's prevalent. No, it's yeah. Totally it's, prevalent. It's it's very it's very out there in the, like the furry conventions and shit too. Oh, I can't even imagine fur. People just tackling you. Yeah. Oh, shit, glomping. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay. Do you do you probably I not in that time? So, uh, when yeah. I say the word glomping, what do you think that means? That sounds like they're they're assaulting you. Yeah, so glomping, mm. and this happened to a, a voice actor um, a, a, a long time ago. I met uh, Todd Habercorn, 
who uh, is pretty prevalent in like Funimation and stuff. And as he was entering the uh, the panel room and we're all cheering and stuff, you know, uh, some wild girl came out of nowhere and tackled him. And like, like he barely had time to catch himself and be like, oh my fucking God. You know? <laughs> It was horrifying. Your biggest and I was like, fan glumps wow. you. Yeah. Why would they let it, why would they let you a literal goat into a convention center though? I don't know. Well, maybe they I just guess. assume that you're a furry. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, if I get I'll on like two, two legs, you know. <laughs> Does so we've established before we get back to the topic, we've established how disgusting those conventions must smell, but what about furry conventions? I would imagine the sweat. I, mm. I, now, mm. my my theory. They got to be worth. They're on another level. I have a I have a theory about this. Okay. Now, since they're in suits, there's going to be a little bit of smell that gets out, but it's got to be hot in there. But I bet they're mm. insulated enough to where the smell kind of gets trapped. But imagine the bathroom. Somebody's got to go in there and fucking, like, the, even if they're just going to go in or there the to hotels. wash their face. Yes, oh, exactly. God. Yeah, dude. It's it's, I... it's like releasing. It's like the, the closest uh. thing I can think of is, like, you know, like in, in, in Halo when they unthaw Master Chief and all the all the uh, <laughs> the, the, the oh. fog and the, uh, the, the smoke comes out and shit. It's like that. Unspeal but instead, it's with <laughs> yeah. It, it's just instead of uh, the the steam or whatever, it's just disgusting, stank ass, swamp yeah. anus. Um, like it's the fucking the only, grave mind breath. The only Sorry. thing that I can think of, like when it comes to furry conventions, is uh, rainforest, which is the worst example. That's what I was about to say. Yes, yeah, people but... are bringing that up in the chat. Oh my you voice cracked. Not... Based believe in like how bad the bathrooms at uh, conventions are like not yeah. only with just like stuff left around you know silly like dirt or gross stuff but like people will bring in sharpies and like graffiti all over the fucking walls and yep. take pictures and post it on twitter oh, okay now in my defense in my Bro. defense i vandalize bathrooms too <laughs> <laughs> i've told you guys well. I, I think i've talked about it on stream when me and my dad went to a mcdonald's out of state on a trip, oh, and God. he knew about my tendency to vandalize, so we went to the Walmart next to the McDonald's. Went, you know, we went inside, got some sharpies, and then we went in the bathroom and just vandalized the fuck out of it. Oh, right. drawing like drawing like penises all over the fucking stall walls and shit, <laughs> and uh, putting putting phone <laughs> I mean, numbers of people we don't like, and then we uh, we drew an army of dicks with, <laughs> following a giant <laughs> penis. <laughs> They have like little wow. legs and stuff. Yeah, they had little legs, and but the That's big so dick cute. was really detailed and shaded, and it, he had <laughs> veins and shit. He had fucking like he had muscles on his little arms and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the, I I was That's a sick. very troubled child, and I think I'm a troubled adult too. Be honest, that was last year. <laughs> anyways, no, back to the top. anyways, back to the stuff. <clears throat> By the way, I'll be reading super chats in a bit, so keep sending them in. Keep giving me, oh, gi God. keep giving me your eighteen-year-old boy money. <laughs> boy, yeah. mate. Ooh, shekels. Okay. Who should keep going? Um, uh, Cadenza, you you want to read? Where did we Where did we leave off? Uh, I think we. 2009 the on the Chris room. Yeah, right after the bullet points, yeah. Okay. In February 2009, Clyde Cash forced Chris to clean up his room for a bit. Besides Chris, Basically. only two other people have been venturing into the cesspool he calls a home. Bob Chandler, as exposed in a leaked video, and the Magical Man, as seen in Magical Man Potion. What? Mm. What did I what What did I just read? Um, I don't know. Give me one a animal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into what Kitty, the magical man thing is real quick. Keep reading. Kitty Chandler was shown in Chris's room in another video. Oh. <laughs> he he named his cat Kitty. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. Cool. I mean, he, he gets. The I mean, yeah. 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 Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> some people some people have strays and they just call it cat. Mm -hmm. Past vermin. Yeah. Right. A barn cat, something like that. Oh, um, I, a... I I found uh, I I got the the magical man potion video. If you want to watch that real quick, <laughs> let's yeah, let's do that. All right, um, give me a second. Let me uh, let me stream it to the channel. Also, Jude uh, sent me a thing where uh, at Comic Con they have a a fucking posters up that say, uh, "Wow, look at all those susses." <laughs> look, look, go and stream updates and look at all the sus responses. <laughs> That's Why? Funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's fucking funny. But uh, let me go to it. But they have a sign that says uh, "Cosplay is not consent." Yeah. Yeah, that's what a nice time we t to be alive, you know? 
Isn't that there great? Also... But that's like a necessary thing to put up. Yep. Weirdly quick, there was also um people who would like give you hugs for a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Which, I'm not like... against the idea of kissing booths, but like Oh no no no. It was like know... like it was always a big sweaty guy and like yeah. they would um they would like have like a sign and everything and basically be like making money um without being like listed as a vendor so mm -hmm. uh they would always get like like either like like uh kicked out or if they wouldn't leave like the cops called on them and later on any uh convention now you, you can't do that it's it's you'll get fucking removed yeah now they just do the free hugs Good. thing yeah you never want to hug from them because they're gross <laughs> mm -mm. Yuck, 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 yuck. See, yeah, this this will stop them from reacting with the sus thing. I just said react with sus if you're a gay homo. Oh, well, they, one started and then it disappeared. We almost got one, guys. Wait, I'll do it. <clears throat> oh, there we go. <clears throat> it started. Okay, so you guys are watching my stream here, so we can watch mm -hmm. the thing together. Let me adjust the. Let me adjust this real quick. All right, so let's um, let's watch the magical man potion. I I vaguely remember this. What? Dear. Okay, so Chris is, uh, he, he's feeling a little sick. Oh, or he's gonna be. Oh, man, he's cackling like a witch. You know, say, I imagine this is you mixing your drinks. <laughs> this is, that's me mixing my drinks, or that is, uh, <clears throat> this is a deleted scene from the, the early stages when they started developing, uh, Breaking Bad. This is, this is Beta <laughs> Walter White. <laughs> this is Heisenberg. This is Heisenberg right here. This is this is peak narrative storytelling right here. He, Joey, he, I they're am cooking. the one who knocks. <laughs> they're cooking and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. shit, I'm sorry. I need a montage of Chris and Barb like with the, the trays with the meth and shit. <laughs> and they're hitting up the hammer and getting it all shattered up and shit. Yes, I need that in my life. I can draw that. Oh. For a price. <laughs> I get this gun. <laughs> you know, he's so happy with what, what he, he does. <laughs> he's so he's he's so into the bow. Baba Bowie. <laughs> what is he trying to make? A I potion. Don't know. I have no idea what he's Ooh, fixing right now. It I think be... Okay, so Soda, from... it could be detergent. I don't know. From the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing. I think I know where this is going. He's mixing um, his navy with Fanta. Yeah, oh, over no. and over again. Not the Fanta. <laughs> I gotta give him credit, though. He's having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> vibing. Do you recognize that Sonic poster on the uh, upper right? Uh, yes. That's uh, that's either Sonic Jam or Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> Homo. 3D. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's found a bunch of shit. He's gonna, he's yeah. gonna roofie himself. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh no! He create, he accidentally created mustard gas. <laughs> you know, he's heard the rumors that if you roofie women, they they get laid. Although that there's more to oh. it than just that. So he's gonna try it on himself and hope for the best. <laughs> oh my maybe, god! Maybe maybe he'll get some fuck. Hey, am I wrong? <laughs> hey man. What happens in this room stays in this room. At least the smell does. It's not bad. Chris is dying. <laughs> Credits roll. I think I know the moment. It's Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. No, 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 I'm saying, like, was it called Jekyll and Hyde? The, like, the, the movie or the animation or anything? I don't, I don't know. Because this bro, looks familiar. There. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, it's a hey, what's up, bro? But wow. he's, I guess that's what he's going for right wow. now. This is, this is, voice. this is Kino, everybody. It this really is, is Kino. Pure, this is pure 100% Kino. That is, this that one, is, that is theater. In the middle no of doubt. this room. This is, um, this is like, imagine you're, it's a found footage movie. And it's like, it's, it's at the point in the plot where the person starts finding clues about there being something wrong, like a, a cursed VHS tape or something, and this is the VHS tape. This is the, this is the dark thing that was happening in the house that caused it to be cursed. That shit, oh that'd be wild. It's the nutty professor. That, that's for fucking sure. No, knowing you, knowing your audience, dude, guy. somebody's gonna make like, a VCR and just, of this video and just leave it somewhere. Action. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
and thus I got it. Liquid Chris was born. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just <gasps> same. Oh, I need to work on. Uh, <laughs> you know, damn that transition. <laughs> Boomer. Our name is to work on the time length. Uh, oh. The what? The time length. Continued. I mean, oh. good for him. He, this he, is short. Sure. I, I, he developed I a cure it. for obesity. I love to see it. Always love to see it. <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of gay homos in the server. Look at that. Oh my god, hello. Damn, look, look at that. Look, look at all those <laughs> damn, damn, damn homos. Hello, gay homos. My people. Hello. <laughs> my, my people. people. You don't understand. These are my people. We are legion. <laughs> <laughs> Asbestos. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue with where we left off. All right. So we uh, have a. Oh, on the right though, we actually have a, a rough map of map of Chris's room pre house fire. Oh. oh right. Okay. It's 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 oddly endearing with how much we've seen of Chris's bedroom. We we kind of get you you get acquainted with it. You don't even have to look at this map. You kind of just know where everything is. You know it's what I mean? Not... Like, you can close your eyes and picture it and know where some of the things are. It feels but like such a small to... room with how much shit is in there, you know? Right. Yeah. There's, a, there's like a video that's like 30 years in one room or something like that, and it, you literally see this person's life go by in one room. But this is like the literal version of that. This is like the real version of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was so, here like... for a long time before he fucking burned it all down. So he's got his uh his chair, his he keeps his PS3 games by the entrance. He's got his little his sulking couch where he crashes into slumber <laughs> when the trolls uh fuck with his with his heart and his uh, his love quest. Everybody the wall mounted so cabinet with my right little great. ponies. Oh. There's a there's a doll there, I guess. A small cupboard filled with video cassettes. Two speakers. I mean, it's unreal that they know even little things about like where he keeps his cassettes and shit. Yeah. Right. Scary. Way out. What is way out? Uh, uh, way out, like to exit. Yeah, oh. that, that's how you Dance escape. Dance Revolution board, according to the comics. Oh God, I'm this glad is the he portal. Keeps that. The key. This is the portal. This is literally the portal. The fucking Dance Dance Revolution board. It's a quick fill. Pretty much. I think that's, he... an important, that's an important detail that gets left out. <laughs> I mean, scientists should really be working on like finding out how that technology works. What I've thought about is, how does he not get claustrophobic, like, sleeping on that mattress? Mm -hmm. Being surrounded by shit. Wouldn't you be afraid that something's gonna just topple over? I like Barb, thought about that. When Barb was a lard-ass, she'd fall over, and all his shit in his room would just fucking fall on top of him and suffocate. <laughs> like a small earthquake? <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god. That's what you often Maybe see with hoarders. Yeah. They can sometimes become buried in their own home, you know? Mm-hmm. Ew. Like this, Which, like his room isn't that bad. There's an autistic order to it, at least. But like the article said, this is why he spent the majority of his time in here, because it was mm -hmm. the most clutter-free area. Yeah, it just, I, it's sad. I couldn't, you know. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not a hoarder, but like, there's there's so much. Like, I feel like even as you're like getting older, you're like, I fucking don't need all this shit. You know, Chris holds on to stuff like, like there's no tomorrow. You know, <clears throat> yeah. there might not be. <laughs> well, true. Well, I don't. I'm not sure how his mind works, but uh, it definitely, it definitely seems like he has the kind of mentality of uh, somebody who, who can't let go. And <clears throat> going through an event like a like a fire and having to change areas, he still managed to fill the new area up with a lot of stuff too. Yeah. You know, so it's like the initial thing that was wrong was never addressed. Right. It's um, it's worth pointing out too that in the um, the, the videos where you see him begging for money and he's got the Legos all around him from recent years and the amiibos and shit. That's his old bedroom after the fire. You wouldn't even know it without realizing it, but that's it. That's nope. his old room. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Then uh, later down on the article, if you find it, there's a one where it's got boxes everywhere. It, it was used for storage at one point after the fire. 
It's huh. it that's that shouldn't be fascinating, but it is. I just it's such a sad story, you know. It is. But fuck them. No. <laughs> well, I mean, the interesting thing about a hoarding disorders or anything like that is that it's a physical manifestation of uh, a mental problem, right? Yeah. Right. So it's like you can you can literally get a peek into somebody's uh, psyche just by mm-hmm. looking at their room. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably it got is. really bad like abandonment issues. Oh yeah, I, I could definitely see that. Control. Yeah. Mm. Damn, I, that's see, like it, it. My my thing about him being in a, in a small room, it's not so much that the room is small; it's how it's cluttered with shit. Mm-hmm. That's I. I couldn't sleep in a room like that. I would feel closed in. I'd be scared. Well, not scared, but okay. just uncomfortable. It just it doesn't seem cozy. Like, how do you sleep in that? Not to mention he would never just, put a ugh. he would never put a sheet on his mattress or anything. So you know that thing smelled like yeah. fucking Ew. Fart. Ew. Oh. Like you know? It just smelled of yeah. rancid booty. I doubt he cleans his sheets. That's something He like, doesn't have any sheets. It's it's it well no. But it's not it's not comparable, but like um having somebody in my family that's kind of on the spectrum, like like mm-hmm. Chris is cut in that area where like they probably should have a state like taking care of them mm-hmm. at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a bad. It's not a bad thing to admit that. But, uh, yeah. Me too. I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me too. I, I totally lost <laughs> my fucking train of thought. With what I was. Oh, it happened. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. You, you lost your train of thought with five hundred and forty-five people watching. It's all good. Oh, good. oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <we're> all, <laughs> Should we? Uh, do you want to go ahead and read some of this stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's. Uh, well, you, let's or let's move on to financial crisis. Sure. Since we're we're getting getting kind of pressed on time, we're over halfway done now. Mm. So, uh, the financial crisis. Uh, who wants to start? Well, we have a we have a Chris quote, so I'll go ahead and read that. Then after that, we can figure out who's going to read some of the text beneath it. Mm-hmm. I do not feel I would be mentally suited for an application. Hold on, wait a minute. Do I? Oh, I'm stupid. There we go. Now they can see it. <laughs> an application required long waits to be contacted or not contacted. Am I hired yet? Under the man freaking job. Stop telling me to get a job. God. <laughs> Chris, April 2017. Doctor Phil approached. Yeah. To, uh, therapy. Real shit. Uh, after his friends on Facebook refused to entertain his nonsense excuses for not having a job. Truly bad intentions of spamming actual hate speech. Get a job. Yeah, telling someone to, to get off their fucking ass is hate speech. Get up, you know, get up and act like a responsible adult and uh, work for your fucking money. Oh, uh, don't micro, don't use microaggressions against me, you, you fucking fascist. Racist! It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Damn. You are a wild and a racist. So, Astrid, you want to read some of the financial crisis? Sure. The financial crisis is the term coined by users uh, from Kiwi Farms to describe the steep decline in the Chandler family's financial management beginning in early 2016. Signs of the Chandler's worsening finances were made apparent by the increasing amounts of begging videos and donation requests on YouTube and Facebook. In June 2017, Chris began to take his Patreon account more seriously and recomm- uh, recommenced? Recommenced. Recommenced drawing Sonichu comic pages. He has How did you not of... know recommenced, Asterisk? I thought I said recommended! Oh! Oh, I can see why I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I can see why. He had gotten several hundred dollars uh, per month for his effort. And continues to get as much to this day. As a result, uh, begging, sorry, uh, had tempor- <laughs> temporarily subsided. In mid-2018, however, begging resumed. For the stated purposes of avoiding foreclosure at 14 Branch Lane Court. And buying enough food for his family. Hmm. Uh, mm. Pink, you want to pick up where Rastrick left off? Food for his family. He means more Legos, by the way. Oh, that's <laughs> <Yeah>. true. <laughs> oh. He, he, little little fake Lego pieces of food and everything. I, I hope he at least has the fucking Death Star like complete edition or whatever. Have but. it hanging right. from the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Chris stopped caring about the financial crisis by 2019 because of the dimensional merge and the generous backing from Ali Hirschberg mm-hmm. and other financial enablers. 
Chris continues to beg, but only for conventions, toys, and video games. Chris now also believes that he has he has vast wealth in Quickville Dimension C197 to pay off the creditors, <laughs> but creditors do not buy into his fictional world and have managed to sue him for at least ten thousand wow. seven hundred dollars and seventy nine cents as mean, of second September twenty twenty. Money. Hmm. Holy shit! What, How are they what, suing for money? Does it have why? Well, you know, I I feel like Chris is being discriminated against here. Why would <laughs> now? Hear me out. They can't prove that C one nine seven doesn't exist. <clears throat> they can't outright say it doesn't. I mean, it may not, but it also may exist. I, Chris might have an argument here. He has evidence that exists. He saw it you. Comes and possesses his body. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. They can't deny that. He can at least prove in court that he believes this. And that yeah. might be enough. Discrimination. That might be enough to get the creditors off his back. Uh, no, the, the creditors are just dirty, dang fucking trolls. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And A-logs. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're A-logs. <laughs> they're jerk-offs. No, for oh, sure. they are jerk-offs. <laughs> Uh, do you want me to keep I, going? I really yeah. liked your A log video, by the way, Rogue. Oh, I'm glad you did. Thank you. Hell yeah. Oh my. Okay. Uh, given that Barb is elderly on a fixed income and Chris is lazy on a fixed <laughs> income, <laughs> it is unsurprising that many followers worry that the death of Barb could lead to this so called homeless saga, a wet dream for A loggers and weens, but devastating for both Chris and many of his followers. I don't want to see Chris oh, homeless. Yeah, it, it, being homeless isn't fun. Yeah. Plus, no we wouldn't get it. to see much because he wouldn't have internet. Yeah, exactly. It's not gonna well, be funny. Like it's said, pretty sad. It, nobody yeah. picks up Pamper too, so like his options realistically oh, are to try to try to get something with the state, <coughs> right. or I guess somebody, you know, is Chris's daddy, which is kind Ooh. of fucking gross to think about. Uh, Gusto in the chat said the creditors are playing America's favorite game, Kick the Autistic. <laughs> Damn, that's that's Can't fucked up. I disagree. Damn, I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and read a. Or no, wait, oh, no, it's Condensa's turn. You want to read some of background? Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, backgrounds. To this day, the Chandlers' financial woes are caused by their own irresponsible behaviors. Chris, learning absolutely nothing over the years, has squandered any available money on children's toys, video games. Fast food and sex toys. Barb, on the other hand, has simply been ignoring long-term debts and letting them pile up to alarming amounts. <clears throat> Armed only with the vain hopes that her man baby would raise money for her bills. Do you think so, like, he did? Barb, Barb depends on him for financial stability. That's yeah. That's pretty sad. That's fucked. It's a, Chris, it's a codependent relationship. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of a lot of people get into that, you know. At a certain point, it's like because I mean, who else has your back? At yeah, the, at that point, right. it's true. Uh, Chris has made some efforts to generate income for the household over the past few years, or that of actually finding a job, which included opening an Etsy shop in 2015. However, any profits gained would immediately go straight to a toy purchases. Course. An irresponsible move that would turn out to be a recurring problem that keeps the Chandlers in the red. The shop would eventually shut down from Chris's, from Chris lazily not fulfilling Etsy orders, but he would still find some revenue by the occasional eBay sales of select work from the Horde. I saw that he tried to uh, sell his shirt, right? And somebody yeah. bought it, but then they, I don't know, they did a cashback thing. Did they still get the shirt? I think Chris actually has the shirt still. I don't remember. Yeah, but the, the shirt, shirt was uh, the shirt was tattered and destroyed because I guess it was uh, in a bag filled with water or something like that. It was just soaked since the house fire. Gonna, it was uh, it was gonna water gonna from the hoses. The only thing to survive our civilization is that fucking shirt. Like, put, put it in the Smithsonian. Case, you know, like in a bunker somewhere. Yeah, we, we gotta get to, it, guys. We gotta put that in the Smithsonian and keep that shit safe. Mm -hmm. I agree. It belongs in a museum. So, to further compound the issue, Chris has been instilled with a very real belief that fans are willing to drop lar large sums of money into his bank account for nothing. 
<laughs> an expectation Bro, same. that has since been strengthened by <laughs> by the by the thousand donation by uh, Dstex. I guess Dstex is the username in yeah. September 2015. This belief would take on the form of the many begging videos that would highlight the saga to this day. Ooh, I'll go ahead and pick up from there. Barb seems to have an outstanding dents that dwarf Chris's financial handiwork. On September 26, it should say in September of 2016, she faced lawsuits from Discover and Capital One for failing to pay the large amounts of her credit card debt, according to the Virginia District Court records. It is worth noting that it takes a lot of ignored debt collector calls over a long period of time to get a simple credit card debt escalated to a lawsuit, suggesting that Barb may have been outright ignoring making any payments to her credit card. It's not hard to just pay. Gen genuinely, a lot of times, if you're if you're tight on money and you're trying to pay something back, if you can only afford to pay five dollars a month, tell the motherfuckers, and that's all they're gonna get. And you pay eventually, you'll pay it off, right? Fuck. That's, Sorry. Yeah. Now, it, interest might be an issue, but generally, like especially for like hospital bills and shit like that for debts. When it comes to that, if you can only afford to give five or ten dollars a month, they're gonna take it. They'd rather get the money eventually than never get it. But um. But then again, they, they don't realize that they're not smart enough for that. Only time will tell that said, if you're... What? That said, you can't uh, be prosecuted for hospital bills for not paying them. That's true, so. yeah. They, they can't be held against you. And I think that actually doesn't... It affects your credit, but not as much as you would think. A lot nope. of people live in medical debt because the prices yeah. are so fucking egregious in the U.S. Because America... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love being charged to be taken to the to the hospital because you know somebody beat the shit out of me and my my I'm bleeding from <laughs> all of my orifices and my pee hole. Oh, it's like bro, I am bleeding out, Same, but I still have to wait fucking forty five minutes to be seen. Yeah, real shit, and you you get charged for all that. Love it. Yeah. Only love time it. will tell if more. It, oh, before I forget, I, I don't know if this is true, and I guess this is only an American thing. So maybe if people in the chat, if they've had kids, they can confirm this. Now, I've been told, because I don't have a kid myself, in hospitals, in order for the mother, if the mother holds the child after birth, not the after birth, oh, but the child, yes, they charge for it. Is that a real fucking thing? Yes, they charge for that. Why? Whoa. Mm. I don't know. I think it's because they have to supervise it or something. I, I think it's just because they can. What the fuck? Um, yeah. Like, that's, okay. I think that's true, but, um... It's because, like, that's kind of, like, the first, like, it's, a, it's like, an imprinting thing, you know? That should that should just be, like, like an automatic thing. That's, that's fucking egregious. That's ignorant. That's really fucking scummy. Exactly. Uh, Plus Gomi like in the chat said it can, it can cost anywhere from, it can cost anywhere from $100 to $500. Really? Holy hell. To hold your baby after you push it out of you? But it's your wow. baby! That's fucking oh silly. That's that's fucking, you know, some of the other crazy ass prices, whatever. But the fucking, it's holding your own fucking flesh and blood. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Yeah, but the people who make the laws are just like, who doesn't have five hundred dollars? You know, right. like. That, I don't that's know. Maybe don't after, a, a, after a baby Wait. shower and shit, like you wouldn't have a whole lot of yeah. cash on hand. Maybe. After after my uh, when I went to have the kidney stone removed, right? They made me a. Uh, I forget the exact thing, but it's that, that tube they put you in and they, they do a full uh, x-ray and shit. Is it some, some kind of scan shit? CT scan? That's it. That's it. And did I tell you how much they wanted for that? For oh when I was in there for about 45 seconds. Uh, it, was, uh, it was like $1,300 for 45 seconds God. of my time. 45 Just seconds of my time. It was fucking 1400 something close to that, to expose me to the possibility of getting cancer. <laughs> Yeah, by the time I was done, fuck up. the hospital after everything, they wanted eight thousand something fucking dollars. Now Holy I paid hell. I paid my health insurance deductible. I'm not gonna just not pay my insurance. Yeah. But the hospital, fuck them. They're not getting money out of me. They fuck them. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> fuck them. They they want to charge me that fucking much for for because the only reason I was there for so long is because they said, oh, this kidney stone, it's the size of a quarter. You can pee that out. Uh, what? No. You no, can't. Have you not seen a... How the fuck am I going to piss out a, 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 a quarter like kidney stone? But shit, man. Urethra. Yeah. You know, Hank Hill syndrome and shit. You know, it's real. He's got a narrow urethra. That's just... They said that you have to pay to hold the stone. 
bro. That's, <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why they told me they they could pass it. So then they had to do the surgery and everything, and then that's how I got the video of me pissing blood. So, but n- now we're video. getting off topic. But where Let's was start. I? Uh, only time will tell if more creditor uh, creditor companies um, uh, begin to sue Barb for her neglect. In August of 2016, however, Chris revealed that the household is still under a mortgage of 115 thousand fucking dollars. <laughs> Oh Introducing a far more worrying debt looming over the horizon. Yeah, pay off your debts with debts. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's that's insane. Both it surprises Chris and, me how far people make it. The, the system's built to protect people that just are fucking irresponsible with money. And then if you try to be responsible, you get fucked. Both Chris and Barb continue to barely stay afloat with their lives thanks to their own tugboats. But their inactive lifestyle and reckless spending will not last forever at this rate. That's foreboding. Despite it all, Chris has not once attempted to find a job. In April of 2017, with the household finances near at the near breaking point, one of Chris's IRL friends informed him of DARS, a service designed to help people with disabilities enter the workforce. Chris re- reacted with a temper tantrum, posting a multi-paragraph rant on not wanting to work. Well, color me fucking shocked. Chris doesn't want to work? Who, who, who saw that coming? That, that's, that's unbelievable. I... Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no. I'm, um, I'm busy playing with my Legos. I just want to point it out. Uh, on the front page of the Quickie, there's always, uh, you know, this day in Christery, Quickie News, stuff like that. There's also a begging counter. Yeah. Um, and from that, it has been, and I quote, 4,185 days since Chris last applied for a job. Oh. Dude. Beautiful. That is that is fucking like, ignorant. Even yeah. if you have, even if you have a, like a patchy work record, like I don't know, like you work at a lot of places year mm-hmm. to year or something, or maybe you move around a lot, like that's better than not working at all for fucking years and years and years and years and not having like any right. sort of skill, you know? Yeah. Like he's gonna be facing midlife without any skills. And I'm I'm really bad at math. I failed math in in, in high school, and I Same. never recovered. Uh, <laughs> but doing basic division on my calculator, uh, four one eight five divided by three six five, that's uh, eleven years. Yeah. Well, it's been a oh it's been a few God. minutes. It's definitely I mean, been a few minutes. Yeah. He'll get something eventually, you know. You, you sure about that? Are you really uh. sure about that? <laughs> What job could he do, though, realistically? Like, what could he do? That's I mean, very true. Now, there's uh, jobs that are designed... Well, like, there's places that'll employ, uh, like, people with Down syndrome and stuff like that. Or severe mm-hmm. social... He could be a disorder. Walmart trader, I guess. There's, yeah. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that people could do. There's a lot of yeah. manual labor jobs that aren't, like, too intense. He could and be there's a There's just a lot of, you know... Really... Yeah, there's just a lot of really fucking uh, shitty, repetitive jobs that a lot of people can actually uh, excel at. So Imagine it's, you come up for like tech support or something and it's just like, hello? <sighs> it's, it's not, like, it's not <sighs> like there's no hope, you know? But Chris, <laughs> Chris has to seriously consider the possibility of getting a job in the future right. of some kind rather than relying think, on the donations of strangers. I don't think he thinks about the future. You know, it's too scary. Well, no, he's yeah, focused really, on the now. Yeah. It's just... I really think that if he did face the homeless arc, that a bunch of people would just send money his way. Probably. Like, well, true, right but how could he that. access it without, you know? I don't know. It's I don't it's. Know. It... I don't know what he would do. What do you think the worst case scenario is, Rogue? Or what do you think? What do you think rather is going to happen in the future to Chris? Chris is either going to be homeless and he's going to go live at a homeless shelter, mm-hmm. or he's going to be taken in by somebody. And that person is probably going to exploit him and do terrible things and fuck with him even worse. It's going to be a ween that wants to destroy Chris. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. We're going to film an episode of Hoarders in his home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I wouldn't be against that. That would be pretty entertaining. But even then, mm-hmm. uh, that would also do damage to him. It just, it's, it's not going to yeah. end, it's not going to end nicely regardless. No. Asterisk, you want to read uh, Chris's frivolous mm-hmm. spending? Uh, sure. Do you want me to go through the entire list, too? Uh, sure. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. <laughs> like any term, 
Like any terminally irresponsible adult, Chris likes to keep his bedroom filled with toys, while keeping his wallet empty. Below is a list of the known expenses Chris had made during the financial crisis, collected from online postings and eBay purchase history. Some amounts are estimated, but all amounts are debilitating. <laughs> uh, during 2016, Chris was known to waste over $2,500 on toys. Based. <laughs> That's like what I make a month, if that. In late 2017, Chris spent a considerable amount of money to attend BronyCon. Three-day pass tickets were about $60, but money spent on travel, food, souvenirs, and lodging is rounded to $2,000 to $3,000 by other attendees. Below is a list of known frivolous purchases made during the crisis. There are doubtless many more that are not known about, including cash, cash purchases. You guys ready for this? Yes, let's do it. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Let's no. go. A uh, new PS4 console, $540. About 30 game purchases for the PS4, $600. $350 Ghostbusters Lego set bought on eBay for hire at $425.88. Transformers action figures, $587. Naru, a Dakimakura or Hug Pillow, $90. Skylanders toys, which fucking blow, $195. Did you like Skylanders, Asterix? I hate Skylanders. <laughs> What's wrong with Skylanders? Um, Skylanders ruined fucking again. Spyro. Nice. Spyro wasn't good to begin though. with. I agree. Spyro could have been great. Spyro <laughs> always sucks. My boy. I love Spyro, my little purple dragon. Welcome. Oh no. Uh, Pokemon's merchandise, uh, 181.79. Amiibo, Smash Series Pit, 12.99. I'm done adulting t shirt, 23.99. Chris was. <laughs> Chris is like, I've never adulted t shirt. It could be done if you didn't start. <laughs> Lego Dimensions Assorted Sets $238 My Little Pony Themed Card Sleeves for $13.54 <laughs> A 14 karat yellow gold Cleopatra Bar 16 inch necklace for $399.99 Is that the fuck? Is that Barb's necklace? I think so That makes wow. sense Wow That's awesome Uh, Tokyo Treat Box Minimum $31.50 per month for 31 plus months which is like Holy a shit. subscription service to get Japanese snacks uh, nine hundred seventy-six dollars and fifty cents. Skylanders avatar <laughs> products for use as raffle prizes: seven hundred fifty dollars. Doopy do-over artwork: eighty dollars. Hexbox One: four hundred dollars. <laughs> What's the Hexbox One? Oh, okay. yeah. Like Xbox, but like Chris hates it, but he also bought it. You know. Yeah. Oh. Hexbox. He's the one with the Halo. Mm -hmm. He wanted to play the Master Chief Collection. Get tea bags. Exactly. Tea bags, some dudes. <laughs> Uh, Hexbox Live Gold for $60. Hexbox Games for $89.94. Sonic Forces for $40. How is that game, Rogue? Do you know? Sonic, uh, it's not great. Uh, it's it's mm -hmm. it's one of the weakest ones that, that they've ever put out, I'd say. That's understandable. Uh, DNA Ancestry Reports on Chris, Barb, and Bob. $500. It's <laughs> so random. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think that was from the idea, guys. They made Chris get a, uh... Ancestry a DNA report, which is nice. fucked up. Hey Chris, You're you need to prove you need to prove your fucking whiteness. Pretty much, in the eyes white. of the northern gods or whatever. This is this is your tax dollars at work, people. Exactly. Except you, Pink. You don't got to worry about your tax money going to this. Exactly. Yep. Uh, you are funding this literally. And Americans. To top it off, God of War for the PS4 for sixty dollars. That game's a piece of shit. Based. Fuck God. Rounding out. Fuck uh, God War. Fuck yeah. God War. I'll beat its ass. Fuck Kratos. For, Kratos a bitch. Rounding out. Is that out. the one with the kid? Yeah. Is yeah. Boy. Okay, that one sucks. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Rounding out. Don't you mean dad of boy? <laughs> dad of boy. <laughs> <laughs> Rounding Based. out. For known frivolous purchases made during the crisis at $6,267.09. That's more than, like, all of the stimulus that's checks a lot. we've yeah, done Yeah, dude. So that's far. what I... Bro. Right? Isn't that's that beautiful? So fuck, that's so fucking much. Yeah. That's I, money that the government has taken away from you. Because they, you, they, they want you to pay. And it goes to Chris. That's, a, I, that, that's fucked up. That's what I don't appreciate about all this. Is like... You know... It, it honestly feels like... You don't want the government to not support these people. But... Why the fuck do they get to buy Skylanders and stuff? It's um, right. it needs to be, everybody. there needs to be a in a perfect world to be case by case. Mm -hmm. Like there's yeah. people that need help. I get that, 
but Chris is not one of them. This is this is just completely irresponsible. Right. Yeah. So it's exactly. no wonder they got money problems. The the <sighs> the financial crisis. I love the name of this. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Isn't the name oh. just great? Dude, it works. It it hits. So the next one is on why Hello, Chris cats. refuses to work. Oh, Who boy. wants to do the uh, the quotes? Get out of here, cats. Uh, I'll do the quote. Uh, since it's Chris, I'll, I'll read the quote. All right. You want money? Get a job? Our response is that we are already employed by your boss's boss's boss due to our better and special powerful abilities. Therefore, all of you haterade chugging <laughs> get a job spouters out there, Hater. I suggest you shut up and enjoy your ability to settle in a cozy office or wherever. Chris clinging on to his fantasies about the dimensional merge to justify why he's unemployed in the real world. <laughs> yeah. Oh. When you said, you want money, get a job, all I could think of was going to cry. Kiss <laughs> <laughs> your pants. <laughs> all I could think of was the, uh, the Morshu character from that Legend of Zelda CDI game. <laughs> it's yours, Bombs, my friend. <laughs> lamp oil. <laughs> you want it? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Pink, you wanna you wanna pick up a, a despite actively begging? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck you. You're a you're a fucking you're a bitch. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Despite actively begging for money since 2016 and a near miss with foreclosure and homelessness in May 2018. Chris has not attempted to get a job. Then again, the last job he had dates all the way back to 2003. Wow. That was a little wow. while ago. That's almost oh, That's almost 20 years ago. That is almost yeah. 20 years. Damn. <laughs> One of his real life friends, a woman from his Pokemon club named Alexa. Oh, it's just it's just the uh, Google thing. It's just Google. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's his phone. <laughs> Became mm. concerned after seeing Chris repeatedly beg on Facebook. She suggested in November 2016 and again in, no in April 2017 that he contact one of her family members who works at the Virginia DARS, a government service that helps disabled individuals find work. At the first suggestion, Chris didn't follow through, and at the second, he fired off a rant against getting a job, forcing Alexa to back down. Wow. Bro, he showed Amazon how this motherfucker works. Bro. He runs the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he put that bitch Take in the ground. Take that, Alexa, <laughs> you bitch. Imagine being so pathetic, you force an AI to come to life just to <laughs> put you to get a job. Just to put it in its place. That's fucked up. Jeff Bezos this is how you, this is how you get shit like the Matrix happening, people. Oh. Nice, thank you. Uh, and for the people asking, I'll be reading Super Chats at the end of the stream, judging by the timetable we got. So uh, oh. if you yeah. want to keep sending them, keep yeah. sending it in. I love milking my 12-year-old fan. Oh, that sounded fucking bad. <laughs> Oh, no. oh well, that that's gonna be out. clipped. <laughs> I'm gonna be clipped uh, now. Shangy's gonna uh -oh. use that against me. That and Arnie Zanzibar. I'm fucking scared. Oh no! Anyway. The whole country gonna, of Zanzibar. We're gonna make fucking YouTube poops out of it and fucking Team Fortress Two videos. Like oh, absolutely. Them SFM. They're gonna make an entire model of like the rogue character. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, either way, I, I'm gonna be bamboozled. Model. They're they're gonna fuck me. If anybody wants rule 34, my commissions are open. Just saying. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Damn. What a plug. Oh my god. I blushed. Oh gosh. Okay, do you want me to keep going? Oh uh, yeah, what? keep going. Okay. Uh, in his rant, Chris gave the, follow gave the following flim flimsy excuses. Excuse me. He was busy with helping Barb and the, <laughs> and the pets, despite having no trouble in going on a three-day trip to another state without bringing them along in August 2017. Trolls ruined his background check slash reputation, while it is true that a Google search on Chris reveals unsavory details. <laughs> there are only records of facts, and there are agencies that find work for the slow-in-the-mind adults that would not care about his minor crimes or indiscretions. Uh, mm. Yeah, see, Chris, you actually don't care about your feelings. <laughs> uh, finding a job runs the risk of being discriminated against for his tom girl gender. Oof. Stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he fears being incompetent. Well, I mean... Uh, huh? I, okay, so I, I feel like I should ask. So, Pink, you're you're left leaning, right? I'm I'm, I'm guessing. Take uh, a, a bit. A bit. Okay. A bit. How, how did? 
Based. So p- <laughs> pink is fucking red pilled to fuck. So how do you? <laughs> What is your stance? Because I always like to ask people this question. What is your stance on Chris's Chris's uh, gender? Um, I like as far as people like him, I think that's fine if they want to identify, you know, as trans or whatever. That's fine. Um, I support my trans brothers and sisters. Go, uh, go wear hogs. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I think Chris himself is just doing it. Um, as a ploy to try to gain access to the community and gain access to more women. Exactly. I, I, I 100% agree. I, I think that the, there's the, the trans stuff, I may not understand it, but I, I, I think it is legitimate. But there's always right. people that are going to use, see that as a ploy to, to harm and they're going to use it to uh, do right. harm. And that's, uh, like I think Chris is trying to do that there. Him. Yeah. He's a, yeah. he wants to, he wants to use the platform to meet more women. So supposed lesbians, because if they're lesbians, they must be attracted to him. Right. And mm-hmm. uh, that's how he's going to get China. And from what I understand with this new drama, with him trying to tase him tell himself or whatever, with this, uh, Preter group, they are, mm-hmm. uh, there's a girl in there, Annie, and she's uh, got an OnlyFans and shit. She's an e-thought. And I guess Chris oh, is yeah. under the presumption that if he, uh, tasers himself, that, uh, Annie will put out. Oh, my oh God. why? Yeah. Oh, you best Annie, come get on. Away from her. <laughs> Virginity yeah. shield activated. Annie, are you okay? That's just um, okay? you, you want to get an autistic guy to taser himself, so that way he might get pussy. That's shitty. That's really, <laughs> really shitty. Yeah, that's kind of pathetic. It really I think, is. I think um, I might, I might get based for a second here. Uh-oh. Uh, I, I think uh. From going to Tom, from from Tom girl to actually like a trans lesbian woman, mm-hmm. um, I feel like it's also a way for Chris to not be criticized as easily. Right, very. That. You know, I, I, like maybe maybe that that's a little far, but I I wouldn't put it past him. There's totally people who do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's not criticism. You're just discriminating against me yeah. as a trans yeah. lesbian uh, sauna chew thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, I yeah. feel like with, with Chris, he actually nullifies the, the legitimate stu- struggles that actual trans people go through. Oh, absolutely. A, and, uh, it's whole with that. Depreston pointed out in the chat that Chris looks like the stereotypical, uh, the, the, the negative uh, stereotype applying to trans people. Exactly. Yeah, it's always the, yeah. the, the stereotype is always a fat, overweight, balding guy that wears a dress. And is uh, yeah. makes creepy advances, and that's I th- believe that's perpetuated because of Chris and uh, that uh, Jessica Yaniv. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, yeah. I was gonna ask if you'd heard of her. Yeah, that that fucker, fuck that bastard, <laughs> fuck that predator <laughs> piece of shit. I don't, I don't think anything that you just said, Pink, should be considered like a hot take. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, not at, not at all. Mm-hmm. It's just goddamn, you know. Just common sense, I'd say. I would say so. Yeah. Um. I can pick up if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, real, real quick, um, I just got a PM. Somebody wants me to let you know that RDA is apparently bashing you on their stream. I don't. Eh. I genuinely don't give a shit. Literally, I didn't think you would, but I just the, uh, figured I'd let you know. Based. Literally, who the fuck? Uh, <laughs> RDA is a is a smaller group within that drama sphere shit, and they just they think they're clever and they like to run their mouth and shit. It's they're they're not that interesting. They try to do what I do, but they're just not as good at it. Right. So, Not anyways, worth it. Anyways, uh, where were uh, we? Like, <laughs> later, like, Chris added more excuses for not wanting to work. In October 2017, Chris claimed that he was too busy with Quickfill and his imaginary friends, in addition to helping Barb with the pets. And in June 2019, Chris claimed that he was already employed by God to oversee the dimensional <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Most of his claimed reasons for uh, hold no weight. A background check, as explained by Jackie and Kim Wilson many times, only applies to legal records, and Chris's misdemeanors would not prevent him from getting a job. Fellow locales like William Elliot Waterman and Kenneth Engelhart have, uh, also have their names linked to their internet shenanigans, yet they have gained employment. Furthermore, discrimination on the basis of gender is illegal, especially as a result of a Supreme Court ruling on the 15th of June, 2020. What is the pay rate for working for Jesus? <laughs> Not enough, apparently. <laughs> Where's the Christ bucks, bro? 
<laughs> we don't have enough fucking people doing it. The car is fucked. There's no union so around Jesus. Bro. They're so expensive. Damn. It's all about location. <laughs> in reality, getting a job would probably reduce his stress over needing to beg in order to afford more toys. His excuses on being fearful of making mistakes and his obsession over his imaginary friends are blocks set down by his own mind, revealing that, rather than growing up and assuming responsibility for his future, he would rather remain a, a man-child forever. Chris's, Chris's only plausible claim was in May 2018, where he feared that weens and A-logs will harass him at work. Valid. Yeah, uh, that's, that, that's a genuine concern. I, I, I understand mm. that. Similar to how they harassed the management of the end games and anytime fitness into banning him. Damn. He worked at a fitness place? He probably he went to a fitness there. place. Bro. Yeah. Could you imagine you're like trying okay. to work out, you're trying right. to pump iron, <laughs> okay. and then this fucking smelly, fat, <laughs> like, yeah. lady boy comes up to you, hey, excuse me, um, are, do you happen to be, um, a, a, a boyfriend-free girl? <laughs> One fucker's lifting weights. I got the, you, the, the lightest, Using the lightest weights possible, wearing an attraction sign. Yeah, and you just hear like, ha, ha, ha. Every time. Alentis in the chat says that uh, Jesus pays in the quickles. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Damn. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> like, like, uh, what, what were those stupid coins in that one comic row? Uh, C quarters and shit? C quarters and W quarters, yeah. Yeah. All kinds of good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to read, uh, why you shouldn't donate to Chris? On that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit that and then we'll, we'll probably call that the, uh, the ramp up part. Okay. I'll let you guys do your shilling and all that. Oh, okay. Why you shouldn't donate to Chris. <clears throat> Buying things from Chris and or donating to him is not at all recommended, mainly because Chris has habitually neglected his customers. He has repeatedly failed to ship orders to his buyers online, and it will ignore messages from his customers asking about their purchases, or give a myriad of excuses as to why they haven't shipped. If he does get around to shipping them, his naive methods of packaging often cause him to them to arrive damaged, like the medallions <laughs> are busted in two and shit. God. Other times, he simply wouldn't he won't ship items at all, as seen perfectly with his Patreon. Oh. oh. If Chris is angry enough, he can use your information against you. This was infamous, infamously seen with Mr. Smith, attempt who attempted to purchase a medallion from Chris, and after Chris failed to make and ship one, uh filed a claim against him on eBay, causing Chris's PayPal to be locked. Chris responded by furiously by doxing Mr. Smith and another buyer on Facebook, both of wow. whom eventually received prank calls from Weens. That fuck you. That's shitty. Ugh. Fuck those fucking assholes. <laughs> the information of those of that PayPal releases to eBay sellers that includes your full name, home address, email address, eBay username, and possibly phone number. In other words, the exact kind of information you won't want a screeching man-child to post in a public place when it's followed by hundreds of cannibalistic internet trolls. And that's putting it lightly. Chris will piss away your money. As stated above, Chris and Barb have had a long history of irresponsible spending habits, which is the biggest reason why they've fallen into debt, even if he does manage to ship something to you without any sort of hassle, or claims that he won't spend your cash on toys. Chances are, uh, still, oh, chances are still extremely high that Chris will immediately blow your money on Legos, action figures, video games, and or other stuff, and then immediately go back to begging. It's a cycle. It's a vicious cycle. It's the content loop. It's like a, it's like a shitty video game that just has a gameplay loop, bro. <laughs> it's the Ouroboros oh. of nice. hoarding oh, and gets, <laughs> money. Yeah. Yeah. It gets consumed back into itself. So before we do the shilling, I'm going to go ahead and read through all these super chants, so bear sure. with me. Let's see, let's see. Uh, trying to pick up where I left off. Have some base products, brother. Okay, so I believe it starts at Spyro76, who sent in four ninety nine with no message, and then Silencer7396 sent in $5 with no message. Sora Trash sent in... Uh, Oh, okay. So I guess I already read this. So I start at... Okay. Stress Elemental sent in 20 bucks saying, hell yeah. It's time to drink and harass Silent Wyvern for his life choices. Wait, wrong stream. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> give, give him all the hell you can. ATG sent in $2 saying, thanks for the entertainment as I work. Help time pass. Well, I'm happy to help. Rowan McNall sent in uh, 
549 uh, Canadian saying, love watching your streams while I draw. Thank you, heart emoji. Well, I'm always happy to help. Uh, Mr. G sent in five dollars, saying, "Lord Rogue, give us this day our daily shacks, and let this to this goat be blessed." Much appreciated, brother. Though this is just my opinion. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Kyle C sent in five dollars, saying, "Hey man, I know I'm giving you money, but that's just your opinion, man. You're right, it is. But but I would say it's objective <laughs> fact that you just did it." Jay Godsey sent in one ninety nine, saying, "Bean it." Me too. Uh, Mr. Inviv sent in two pounds saying internet, rogue internet porno? Maybe. That might be my future yeah. career. Uh, Crimson1122 sent in five smackaroos saying, uh, I hopped on to the sounds of lewd anime characters. Is that a, the kind of stream tonight? Well, it started off that way. We're not professional here. We know that now. E.M. Du Bois. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ian Dubois sent in two dollars saying I'm still ticked. A Spurg uh, ticked off our goat mom. It'd be like that. It really do. <laughs> Famicom Pony sent in five bucks saying Internet Man dub over Yowie, gay hentai in Duke Nukem's voice. I could do that. <laughs> Just, uh, ooh, that's a that's a disgusting thought. Get you some connections. We'll get in there. Oh, yeah, I could. <laughs> Just imagine Duke w with a voice like this getting fucking pounded from the back. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> oh my. Oh need mm. to it. Make it, man. Make it happen. It's dripping. Ooh. Oh man. Jay Gonzi sent in four ninety nine saying, "I donate eight hundred if Rogue blows his brains out on stream." Oh. Nope. Uh, I can't do that. I almost raced for my gun, but no, I can't do that. Oh. That's a no no. <laughs> Jesse Hurst sent in five dollars Canadian saying, "If hint, if it's a hint, I stream." So this is topical. Watch the greatest, greatest, greatest anime dub ever on YouTube. I've seen it. We'll have to watch that sometime. I think it, I don't well, I don't know I don't know if the oh is that the the fucking ghost the witch thing the, the black ghost stories you know, yeah or is it that because I, I, I know of one where it's some black guy that's voiced by a scrawny white guy was it, it's the ghost story shit I don't I, know I'm not sure I don't know because I've heard about that too about. Hmm. <laughs> GG Evan three one seven sent in five dollars saying uh Dorn hashtag Dorn Hub or Dom Hub I'm sorry <laughs> I I read it as Dorn I'm like uh oh Brett Keen. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Game sent in five bucks saying, Rogue, I'm drunk, and I'm listening to a goat and an alien and a hentai VA talk about the weirdest man in the world. Another night in New York. That sounds about right. At least it's coming from oh, your yeah. computer and you're not listening to that on the on the subway. Uh, the Duelist sent in one ninety nine saying, in Chris's voice, first immortal, then the China. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Joe Richardson sent in five smackaroos saying, hello, Rogue and funny goat. Hope all is well and you were keeping safe. No, I, I'm going to get a, I'm, I'm going to get killed. The, the oh, super uh, hackers are after me, bro. She saw oh, sent no. in five bucks saying, long time lurker, but I'm finally here to say hello, you stinky internet man. Ouch. Cole Wilson sent in two bucks saying, thanks for streaming when I don't have to, have to wagey. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're not wage cucking. Depressed and sent in 1999 saying, Chris needs to create a new Sonic Jew to help his, get his finances in check. Also watch Rat, play, Rat Pays Ultimate Price for Eating Mustard. Okay, I'll pull that up. Since you put gotcha. Rat pays ultimate price for eating mustard. We'll watch that in a moment. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> this I'm, is. I'm all, I'm this better not be you. gore. <laughs> but I we'll know. see. I hope not. We'll see. Uh, where I where I leave off? Uh, the duelist sent in one ninety nine saying, uh, "One does not simply walk into Christian's room. Uh, it looks like somebody did though." Stress Elemental oh. sent in 10 bucks saying the stench is always pretty bad, but the gaming room you can actually smell from down the hallway. Oh, talking about the uh, the convention stuff. Monster Mama oh, yeah. sent in 5 bucks saying I've been to a few furry cons and the worst stench comes from the obvious YIF suits. Ew. Uh. Ash 223, uh, Ash 223rd, I'm sorry, sent in 5 bucks saying uh, I'm here to make you say ooh woo. Hashtag vagabond game. Fuck you, you bastard. Stress Elemental sent in oh, ten bucks. Sent, <laughs> uh, sent in ten bucks, saying went to an anime convention where there was a porn convention happening at the same time. There was greasy weebs mixed with fat degenerates who paid to meet porn stars. It smelled disgusting. Well, that that's all. Uh, that's all pretty accurate. It sounds like Kyle C sent in five bucks. What? We can't watch this. Why? It's it's got a rat being beaten to death. Bruh. Oh, oh no. no! Not right over. Oh yeah, yeah, Preston. I don't think no, I can show. I just skipped ahead. I can't show this. I can't show this at all. Allow me to make oh. it up to you somehow, but I, I can't show rats oh, getting getting the shit beat out of them. Chats. Damn. Um, uh, Kyle C sent in uh, five bucks saying hosted SSBU tourneys at a local scene. Okay, so Super Smash Brothers. Most people come clean. One bad apple spoils the bunch every time. Left after a dude's hair glued to the seat. What? Glued to the seat. 
How does what? that happen? Flower Garden sent in uh, five bucks Australian saying, I have them into a con and want to go to one someday, but yeah, those stories make me not want to. Just uh, be careful if you do. Sir Perry sent in five bucks saying, I'm a furry, uh, I'm a furry that wears a skin suit to look like the TF2 spy. Also tell Propane that we need to, to fumigate the basement tomorrow morning. Well, for his show, I mean, we definitely should. Bloodmark Mentor sent in five bucks saying, Oh God, I tuned into the rainforest. What the hell are the last, what the hell are the last two streams? Uh, just laughing at, at weird people on the internet. Really nothing uh, out of the usual. Just, uh, we had a little more interaction this, these last few times. Spaceboy92 sent in 10 bucks saying, As a cosplayer during those Galomp and Yowie paddle days, cons were a mixed bag. Ooh. Ooh, that's a, that, that, yeah, what, a, what is a Yowie paddle? I don't know. Oh there my god. Like that experience. said Yowie on no. them and people would hit each other with them. And, and then somebody wow. got like a broken hip. Oh. Because they got hit yeah. so hard. Oh my I mean, god. Yeah. Ow. That's they're pleasant. They're like banned now at most places. Mm -hmm. that, that's, a, that's pleasant. Ted Comet sent to five bucks saying, Asterisk, is it true that your grandma is the one who cursed the Chicago Cubs? Also, not sure <laughs> not sure if you care, but Chris is back, and it's really funny what did it. Uh, I, I think that's the uh, the Frieder group, right? I don't, I don't, what do you mean, back? Bodacia CNO sent in $2. Oh, um, oh, you mean Chris is back like he's not LARPing a Sonic you anymore. Yeah. Bodacia CNO back sent in two bucks. Yeah, boy. Uh, <laughs> Bodacia CNO sent in two bucks saying, please compliment Skelly on the Bagel American boys. In the Bagel American... Well, I, I like Skilly's bones so much. The nice and the calcified, but they can be filed down to be made smooth. I, I'd love to rub him. Rub his bones <laughs> in a non-gay way. We got a f we got a bit more to go through. Just bear with me, people. <laughs> Philly Wonder sent in four ninety nine. Saying honestly, the worst conventions to be in were the theater conventions. I still get flashbacks of people horribly singing Hamilton. Ooh. <laughs> the gray one uh, sent in five bucks saying as someone who did local tournaments pre coof they weren't bad for f all, all bad for fighting games. Heard horror stories about the Smash ones, though. That They all sound pretty awful. Uh, dude, try the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! tourneys. Fuck that. Oh, fuck no. a bunch of that. Two, Ew. two letters. Ew. Patchwork sent in five bucks saying, I, Rogue, just wanted to say that I'm loving the stream. Here's five bucks. Well, well thank you. Oh, I about vomited. Well, thank you. <laughs> Nerby T-Top sent in ten bucks saying, holy shit, biscuits, Rogue. Found a winning scratch off in the parking lot at work today. Figured I'd share the good fortunes with my duder. Well, I'm glad. Thank you. I'm glad. Hopefully you win more. Charminator sent in $2 Canadian saying, Can Pink Parasite say oo-woo in the hentai voice? Oh. You know I can. But will you? Oh, oh. It's based. Oh, 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 oh. Neat. The Duelist oh. sent in four ninety nine saying, Thank Chris... <laughs> Chris doesn't, uh, send in four ninety nine saying, doesn't Chris have a degree in graphic design? Why the hell has he capitalized on that? He could have also ha gotten the office job he dreamed about, LOL, because that requires effort. Silencer7396 sent in 10 bucks saying, take my shekels. Well, I'm good at that. Razzle Dazzle Ranger sent in four ninety nine saying, I'm a twin, and because I'm the stubborn one, my parents took five years to pay me off. What the fuck? Uh, Angel Jacobo sent in two bucks, sending uh, saying Chris used his stimulus to get an iPad. Yeah, I can see that. I'm sure he did. Brandy Whitbread <laughs> sent in five, uh, five bucks, saying actually what Chris and Barb need for their tugboats are payees to make sure that their bills and stuff get paid first. Uh, Silencer seventy three ninety six sent in five bucks, saying milk me, daddy. Are you sure you want that? Are you really oh, sure? Wow. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Nick the uh, Struggle Snuggler sent in four ninety nine saying my money your wallet what could be spent on my beer will be your beer money for the great beer revolution ah I viva la <laughs> beer revolution right uh li li oh wait Lincoln Rook I almost thought I said Lincoln Theory my bad Lincoln Rook uh sent in three dollars saying you do a pretty good uh, Morshu voice well I, I, I do I I, I I don't know I, I guess I do when I when I did the uh, the, the the lamp oil shit. Uh, Philly Wonder sent in one ninety nine saying, "Kind of cringe. You're only gonna buy if you're only gonna buy from Chris. Well, if you're gonna buy from Chris, yeah, you shouldn't do that." <laughs> Rowan McNall sent in five bucks Canadian saying, "I double dare you to the to do the Duke Nukem voice while saying, please peg me.' Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I just got done wiping out a bunch of fucking alien bastards, but I want one thing: not the riches for saving the planet. I want you to peg me." Please make me your little scum boy bitch. Please peg me daddy. Ooh, ooh. Like, like that? Is that what you want? Oh, Use me heart. as your dirty little cock sleeve. Still. 
base. Oh my god. Ugh. Uh, Bick Bull sent in five bucks saying in the Arthur Morgan voice, please say, <clears throat> John, my dear Dutch Vanderland, welcome to Jurassic, welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> welcome to Jurassic Park. <coughs> <No>. <coughs> 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 Uh, GG Evan three one seven sent in five bucks saying Rogue, I would love to hear your joke, your take on Brett Keen in a video or live stream. Hashtag water headed idiot. Oh, there's a lot I could say about Brett. It's just oh, getting videos man. for it. Brett is a lot of fun to talk about. Thanks for the super chance, brothers. All of them much appreciated. So, um, let's uh, let's start. Um, Pink, do you have anything you want to shill? Maybe if I may. Yeah, go ahead. And, oh. What what do you want to shill? <laughs> um, I have two YouTube channels. Um, my Pink Parasite one, which is pretty easy to find, and my other one is Skyling, where we uh, canonically have the airspace above this office. We're in a big, um, <laughs> we're in a big Treasure Planet-inspired glass boat, and we go look around the uh, world and find weird stuff, and just uh, kind of hang out. And I do a lot of gaming over there. Um, also, my comic that I've been working on with my best friend for like eight years now it's called hellborn um you can find it on at uh hellbornsaga.com um we work very hard on it please enjoy it um it's kind of crap at the beginning because we were young and stupid but like it's getting better and we work very hard so please nice. let come and thank you <laughs> uh cadenza do you have anything you would like to promote yeah i've, I've seen uh i've seen pink's uh webcomic it's pretty awesome Bitch. um i think I'd like to just post my YouTube channel in the chat, if that's yeah, okay. That's cool. All right. All right. And uh, Astrid, you're, do you want me to pull it up as per usual? Yes, and I'm sorry in advance. My dog is whining for no reason. Just yell so at your dog. Can... Scream at I your can't. pet. I can't. It's late. So <laughs> if uh, if you hear that while I'm talking, I'm really sorry. Uh, I always have my tea spray. You got a link for it, Rogue? Uh, yes, I'm, I've already got it pulled up on the screen. Oh, I'll, I'm sorry. I'll put, I'm it dumb as hell. I'll put it up in the chat. <laughs> there you go. You're fine. Thank you. I was going to just make it sure. Um, I've recently made a new sticker. It's uh, Asterisk herself. She's small and cute, and you can see her boobs, and that's pretty cool. There um, it is. <laughs> it's $6 a piece, uh, a lot less than what I normally charge for my stickers. I kind of plan on going into my Teespring pretty soon and editing some stuff, taking some stuff out, adding some stuff in. So if you'd like, uh, take a look. I also have a uh, Twitter. The link, I will put that in the chat. Nice. Well, not the link, but the at. Let me and that's about it. it up. Uh, wearing one of the shirts from your store right now. Hell yeah. That's pretty It's not there odd. anymore. Yeah, no, it's done. <laughs> it's, it's, bro, it's been, it's been pretty well together. Despite how much you. I like Pretty the laundry. Yeah. Hell That's yeah. That's great. And then uh, Thank you. I've got my usual shit. Merch store, etc. Patreon, etc. Discord chat you get with the Patreon. Movie nights when we're able to do them again, etc., etc. You know the deal. It's never changing. I'm never changing. I'm redundant. <laughs> but it, 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 it do be like that, though. But anyways. It do be like that sometimes. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, coming on. Thank you, Pink, for for standing on one foot in front of the couch the entire time. I'm not sure how you did it, but <laughs> congrats. Thank you for having me. Of course. I had a great time. Hell yeah. Thank you, Cadenza, for gracing us with your presence. Man, thanks for letting me come on. Uh, I'm, I'm, like I said, I was still vibing from your stream the other day, so I was just like, yeah. What, what if I went on and like, you know, talked to him for a bit? Hell yeah. Hell or ride yeah. the high. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, so thanks for having me on, dude. No problem at all. Get your fix. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Astrid, thank you. Right now, but um, mm -hmm. I love you, man. I love you too, in a That's full gay way. Sucks. That is oh. very almost. Oh. It's very oh. straight. It's a very straight love. Yes. No. No hetero. Astrid, yeah. but <laughs> thank you for coming well, on as per God. usual. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me, Rogue. <laughs> and, as uh, always. Shut up, bitch. And uh, <laughs> thank you to everybody who uh, spent a little bit of time with us on this stream and the short off-the-cuff one before. Thank you to everybody who interacted in the chat, whatnot, and sent in super chats. That's always very based. I like uh, I like abusing my underage audience and taking money away from them. Fuck them. They can't afford their lunches. So that that's uh, that's great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I should have a new video out soon. I'm trying to get things in order, trying to get all the moving shit out of the way. But uh, as always, I've got more content coming down the pipeline. 
But until then, I'll see you degenerates next time. Oh, and uh, if you, you know, listen, if you take mean, nasty, violent shits and you want people to know it, put one, two, three in the chat.